So I'm out and about today um, for Metro TV at a slew food event at Edendale and we've just had this most beautiful project presented to us and we've eaten it and everyone is enjoying. And there's a queue still. And so we're just trying to, in, we're just enjoying this fabulous food and um, dessert next. So I can't wait to try the, I think it's a strawberry cheesecake. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, it's been an awesome event. So John and I have just been doing the filming with John's amazing, awesome camera there. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed myself and had fun. And hopefully I didn't stuff it up. <laughs> So I'll check out some of the other things while we're here and yeah. So I've just leaving Eden down now and I have just experienced a unique experience and I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. All the food was donated. There was about 60 people I think that were fed today. This road's a bit bumpy but anyway. <laughs> um, but it was just a, a really good example of seeing you know local community producing food and having an awesome event. So um, I believe it's on again next year. This was the first one and it was quite successful and the mayor of Nillenbeck was here and I met him and uh, yeah, it was just a really great experience. The day is so beautifully nice and oh, organic food at its best is what I would say I've had today. It was just really lovely. Um, what I am going to do though is come back on another day and actually see Ellendale in its normal status instead of just the food thing today because practically there is so much to do there. There's wild, not wild, there's animals and um, there's examples of mud brick houses and all sorts of things to go and have a look and then in October I'm going to go back because the 21st of October they're doing um, I think they call it green green living or something and they're going to have de displays and demonstrations about um, producing mud brick homes and straw using straw to build structures and stuff so it's very alternative um, but at the same token in today's society it's like an exciting opportunity to go back to something that is more environmentally friendly but also more economical I mean the amount of money and resources used to produce traditional bricks um, compared to mud brick is quite different and I want to ask what happens if there's a big flood will your house wash away if you have a brick house or will it absorb it or you know how will it stand up to a traditional brick home so they're sort of some of the questions that are in the rattling around in my little brain but I just really enjoyed it out here it's only 20 minutes from the city it's a lot longer from Morty Alec but um, yeah I kind of enjoyed it it was and the food, oh my god, I cannot tell you how yummy the food is. I had um, pizza from um, a place, uh, a company called A Boy Named Sue that is um, located in St Andrews. Um, and I've been to St Andrews once before, but I didn't know they had pizza there like that. And that's actually St Andrews, funny story. St Andrews is the first place I ever went to and had chai. Yep, started my chai addiction at St Andrews Market in St Andrews. I can't get chai like you get it there because it's all handmade, everything there. But um, yeah, it's quite lovely. So, and I know all roads lead to home, but uh, I actually can't remember how I got here. Oh, main road. Okay, okay, okay. I'm heading in the right direction, so that's good. Oh. So it's been a really exciting weekend. I did the um, the um, Blame Lily music video last night. We've just done the um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. This means I'm tired. I'm overworked. Overworked, darling. It's overworked. Not really. <laughs> I actually have really enjoyed myself. I think it's more the fact that I wish I could have stayed and. Um, yeah, it's so 
beautiful out here really lovely like I'm in like 20 minutes from the city it's not that far but look at this like seriously I feel like I'm in the country it's, and it's just beautiful really peaceful and I think part of that's the food there was so much love that went into the production of the food from growing it to you know making it into such delicious food and just that whole atmosphere you know everyone was there with a positive attitude and I just really love that you know there's so much negativity in the world and so many people just out for themselves or um, you know want to get the most money they can for their dollar or you know want to I don't know there's just that greed and it was just such a day of abundance today you know people were happy to share all the food was donated because people had grown it and there were some prizes for the growers so that you know to keep them going so there was prizes of seedlings and min there was oh that was the other thing that was really quite interesting is that there was an announcement that there's like a show bag type thing from the event and basically pretty much what it was is a bag of manure so if you wanted a bag of manure or mulchy stuff or whatever to take home there was you could even have a bag or a bucket depending on how much you wanted and uh yeah so that was quite interesting but i just really like the generosity of the people you know they were all happy to speak to me and um i just learned so much as well like i didn't know that there was this much going on here in melbourne you know i expect it when i go out into the country you know when i go up country victoria but not so close to the city so it was just really amazing Anyway, I'm off home now and uh, I think I've rambled enough, don't you? Yes, yes. I need to get some uh, sleep time in tonight and uh, see what else I can get myself into tomorrow. What other mischief I can conjure up for the day. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later and thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Um, let me know that you're there 